In today's video, I am going to be turning someone's trash into my own masterpiece. Let's see if I can pull this off. Hi guys, today I am experimenting with texture and I have made some texture paste out of joint compound, Elmer's glue, and white acrylic paint. I will put the mixture I used down in the description box, but um, this is pretty much it. And I'm just going to put it on my canvas. This is an, actually a canvas that I'm using. Um, it was a scrape from uh, the Fluid Art Experience in Canela's class. So she scraped this and we put it to the side and I brought it home. So I'm going to use it. Sorry, I have like mowers on all sides of me today. And it's just really loud, so let's just get busy. I'm also going to be doing the pearl technique on this canvas as well after this dries. I'm just gonna dip my palette knife in here and just... I hope this finds you all well, and I hope you enjoy this process. Oh, the mower stopped. Yay! So, I'm going to put this texture on, and the mixture is in the description box. I use Joint Compound, Elmer's Glue All, and a little water and acrylic white paint. And I am just putting this on here. I'm going to do a puddle pour in the middle, and then uh, hopefully everything else will be black. I'm gonna use the um, Sapphire in the Extreme Sheen. And if I have any cells that come up anywhere else, I'll just paint them black, so. All right, so let's just let this dry and uh, I'll be back. I'm sorry, my camera shut off. Okay, so I've got Obsidian by Deco Art. It's an extreme sheen. I am just mixing it uh, one to one, one part paint, one part Floetrol. I've got the Aquamarine in the uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen as well, one to one. And then I have Artist Loft Soft body black. I've mixed one to one and then I've added about 35 grams of water. So 80 grams of paint, 80 grams of Floetrol, and 35 grams of water. This is what I'm going to pour over it. I have all of my texture covered, most of it, on this 16 by 20. It's just kind of laying in here. I've just got my bucket to ca catch the paint and then I'm going to move it over. So we're just going to get started. I just want to maybe marry them together in the middle. Should be good. Like that. Just give it some, I don't know, some movement, right? So I'm just going to move this around in between my two pieces of tape. And I'm going to cover this thing. Okay. Making a mess, guys. Making a mess. It's alright, that's what we're supposed to do, right? I just mixed these paints so. and I'm going to pour this pretty heavily right in the middle. I think I have enough paint. Actually, I actually have too much probably, but all right. I'm just going to go off each end pretty quick. some results here oh yeah yeah it's coming up now um, we'll just give it a little time and see what happens and then we'll go from there it's a really simple technique to do so much fun and it is just like um, it's pretty cool all right I will let this be and let it dry and then um, get back with you guys soon hey guys I'm back I'm just going to put some creative inspirations in black uh, on each side of this 
and then I'm going to probably brush in some of this cobbler to match in here. So let's just get this done right fast. Just wanted to kind of show you guys what I was doing. It's very hot in my studio. I haven't been in here all day, so got the air turned on. And if you hear it, I'm sorry. I just wanted to kind of get this on here so that I can see what else I need to do to it. It's going to be pretty fantastic once we're finished, though. Let's just turn it. A little different black than the fluid black, so probably be brushing in that area a little bit. Pretty neat piece, though. I like it. Sometimes just have to get out of our comfort zone, you know, and try new stuff. It's how art is made. I'm gonna have some brush work to do here, but um, I don't mind it. It's gonna be pretty amazing with this texture under this paint. And we'll probably hit it again with some more, another coat. I just really wanted to see what it looked like with it painted all the way down. And I couldn't wait, so a little impromptu video here. Just get it on there, just get it on there. And come back and do the edges later. I just really wanna see what this black is gonna look like on top of this texture. I'm gonna work that black back in uh, into those little details there, so that's all gonna be fixed. I get as close as I can to it and then we'll work it in, make it kind of blend a little better. Okay, first coat. Looks all right. That looks great. That's gonna be pretty. I love it. All right, I'm gonna come back and uh, I'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I'm back. I am gonna take some more of this Creative Inspirations paint and we're gonna do another coat. Looking really good. Glad you guys have stuck with me on this. So I'm just gonna do a, another layer here of the black and I'm gonna try to come in with a smaller brush and get in here so that the black matches this outside. Cause it really doesn't match right now. So um, just taking a couple of brushes and we're just gonna another coat on. I'm just gonna get really kind of close but not too close and then I'm just gonna come in with a smaller brush and get a little more detail. But right now I'm just wanting to even out this black. This is a really cool and fun project. If you try it I would love for you to share it with me. Super cool, super cool. I love it. I'm gonna blend it a little more. That's all. Just a little blending. A little blendy blendy. So it looks like it blended. It, I like it. I like it a lot. It's really super cool. Really super cool. This is really, really an amazing project. I can't wait for you guys to try it. That looks like I'm done. That's pretty amazing. I like it. Yeah, super, super cool. All right, I'm gonna let that dry and uh, gonna put a finish on it and then I'll show you guys the uh, end result. Really love the, it's hard to say, I love everything about this painting. Um, love everything about this painting. So, Canela, if you have any more uh, canvas that you like to trash, just put them in a pile, put them in a box, and um, reach out to me for my address, and I will definitely take on that burden for you, and I will make something of them. Um, I absolutely love this painting. Love everything about it. Uh, plan to do more. And hey, it doesn't have to just be canola's canvases, guys. Put them in a box. Reach out to me. I will make something of them. Let me know what colors you'd like to see in this style, because definitely gonna do some more. Super pretty. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. See you later.